Cry Wolf by Tammy Hogue In the rural parishes of Louisiana's French Triangle, young women are disappearing one by one, only to turn up on the banks of the bayou, strangled and cast aside where they are sure to be found. You came here to rest and relax. We simply thought those objectives would be more easily attained if you weren't dragged into the torrent of speculation about these murders, Caroline said. Murders? Four now in the last eighteen months. Young women of questionable reputation found strangled out in the swamp in four different parishes. Not part out, thank God. She gave the information flatly and with as little detail as possible. Now that the cat was out of the bag, she saw no point in dancing around the issue with dainty euphemisms. Certainly her niece had dealt with cases as bad or worse in her tenure as a prosecuting attorney. But neither did she see the need to paint a lurid picture of torture and mutilation, as the newspapers had done. She only hoped the case wouldn't snag Laurel's attention— Coming away from the situation in Scott County, she didn't need to become immersed in another potboiler case of sex and violence. All in Acadiana? Laurel asked, narrowing the possibilities to the parishes that made up Louisiana's French Triangle. Attorney Laurel Chandler did not come back to Bayou Bro to seek justice. That once burning obsession had destroyed her credibility, her career, her marriage, and nearly her sanity. But when a ruthless predator strikes too close to home, she's lured into a perverse game from which there may be no escape. Once before Laurel's cries against a monstrous evil went unanswered, who will listen now? Laurel rose gracefully, smoothing the wrinkles from her trousers, schooling her temper. Kenner was hardly the first jerk she'd ever come up against. I don't care where he pisses, Sheriff, she said smoothly. I don't care where he does anything as long as he doesn't do it at Frenchy's Landing. Judge Monaghan has granted a temporary injunction until the formalities can be taken care of. Diligent as you are, I expect you'll do everything in your power to see that Reverend Baldwin respects it. Kenner gave her a flat look, the muscles in his lean jaw working, his cigarette smoldered between his fingers, ribbons of blue smoke curling up into the stagnant air. I know who you are, Ms. Chandler, he said softly. I don't need some female with an overactive imagination running around my parish crying wolf every time she turns around and doesn't like the look of somebody. The jibe hit and stuck. Laurel tensed against it, steeled herself and her pride, and dug down for some of the grit she had been known for back in Scott County. Lifting her chin, she met Kenner's stare, unflinching. I don't make empty accusations, Sheriff. If I cry wolf, there'll be one coming to chew your skinny ass. Cry Wolf by Tammy Hogue Six Hours of Lust, Passion, and Murder for Just twenty four ninety five.